Ciao everyone! Today we are not in Rome. Today we are in one of the most incredible and beautiful places of Italy. Today I'm going to show you one of the biggest royal palaces in the world. We are visiting the Reggia di Caserta, the royal palace of Caserta. Where is Caserta? Caserta is a city which is about 40 minutes drive from Naples. And the Reggio di Caserta, the royal palace of Caserta, together with its beautiful gardens, are some of the most beautiful jewels, which are also UNESCO heritage sites. So, shall we start exploring? Let's go! The Reggio di Caserta was built in the 1700s by the king of Naples, Carlo of Borbone. King Carlo wanted to build a massive and grand royal residency, one of the biggest royal residencies in Europe. So let's start exploring. Before visiting the palace, we will see the park. 120 hectares of park with 3 kilometers of waterway in the middle, which lead us to the super magical garden, the English garden. And in this garden you have one of the most magical corners of this whole complex, which is the bath of Venus. Look at Venus, she's having a bath in this little pond. Now this garden is full of waterfalls, fishes, fantastic plants and also archaeology. Let's enter this grotto, this artificial cave. Everything here looks like an archaeological site or at least this is what the architect Van Vitelli wanted us to feel like. This broken ceiling in fact is something that the architect Van Vitelli made intentionally. He wanted to replicate the atmosphere that foreigners were imagining when thinking of Italy in that period of time, in the 1700s, where the archaeological finds started to begin. It was the period of the Grand Tour, where the young people from north of Europe traveled all the way to Italy, to Rome and Pompeii, to see with their own eyes the wonders that they so much heard about. And now that we are at the end of the waterway, let's walk back 3 kilometers back to the Royal Palace of Caserta. Let me give you some numbers. The Reggio di Caserta covers an area of 40,000 square meters, 40 meters high, over 5 stories, 1200 rooms, over 1700 windows, over 1000 chimneys and over 1000 doors. Everything here is super giant, including this statue. This is Hercules while he's resting. And this is a 3 meters high statue from ancient Rome, which was found on the thermal baths of Caracalla in Rome. Right opposite, we find this monumental staircase, the so-called Scalone. Imagine the foreign delegations walking up these monumental stairs waiting to be received by the king. But this grand staircase also had a very special and secret effect, which is right above our heads. In fact, what you see up there, it's a false ceiling with an oval hole in the middle. And on top of that false ceiling, there used to be musicians. Now, imagine this situation. The king and his guests are walking up this staircase. And all of a sudden, music starts to play. The guests are surprised. They don't know where the music is coming from. Because the musicians are on top of that false ceiling and guests cannot see the musicians from here. It must have been so special. The elliptical vault on the ceiling is closed to the public. However, the Reggio di Caserta has been so kind to let live virtual guide inside so that we can give you an exclusive view of this super secret place. And here we are. This is where the musicians used to play. We are on the false ceiling and down there, if you have vertigos, hold on tight, that is the grand staircase where we were earlier. The King of Naples thought of everything and he also included a theater. This theater was exclusively dedicated to the people living in the court. And if you look at the details, each balcony has garlands and angels and no two of them are the same. And if you look around, you can easily spot which one was the royal balcony. Now let's go upstairs, because it's here that we will find the apartments of the royal family, the Borbone family. As we walk through these rooms, we can imagine how it felt for the royal family to walk through these rooms. Or we can also imagine the ambassadors, the delegations, the militaries walking up and down these floors. The more we walk, the more wonders we see. But now let's have a look at the throne room. This is where the king would have sat, at the end of this room which was 40 meters long and 15 meters high. So much gold all around makes this room so majestic. And on the ceiling we have this fresco which celebrates the beginning of the construction works of the Royal Palace of Caserta in 1752. But now let's have a look at the throne where the king was sitting. The throne was very small, 
but very elegant. He had winged lions, symbol of the dynasty of the Borbone family, cornucopias for abundance, and the mermaids, which are the symbol of Naples. Look at these corridors, they are about 200 meters long. Now imagine the people living and working in this palace, how much they must have walked every single day to go from one end to the other of this palace. Now here there's more and more rooms uh, with different decorations, frescoes, spectacular chandeliers. Right now we are about to enter the private bathroom of the Queen. You can see stucco decorations all over, covered with gold, and also a bathtub, a bathtub made of a single block of marble and then covered inside with golden copper. Try to imagine having a bath in here, just like a queen. Rumor says that when the queen was having a bath and when she was having her guests, Aga, her lovers, she will keep an eye on those mirrors on top of the ceiling which will reflect the image of the entrance of the royal palace so that she could check if the king was coming back a little bit earlier than planned. Another curiosity, next to the bathtub there is a small room and inside this small room there is something that for the time was considered to be quite weird and that was a bidet. Today everyone in Italy has a bidet at home, but uh, back then many guests had no idea what this was for. And now let's enter the toilet, the toilet of the queen. As you can see, this was the toilet of the queen. And this is where she would have stored her beauty secrets and finally the sink of the toilet. And look at this, here he says acqua calda, which means hot water. The sink are supported by these beautiful eagles of marble. But she also had another sink with acqua fredda, cold water. So the queen had both cold and hot water in her private toilet. Another curiosity, if you look up, you see those little angels decorating the walls. These angels, they have their eyes covered because these were the most intimate rooms of the queen. And she wouldn't want to feel embarrassed with all of these angels looking at her. This and so much more to see in the Reggia di Caserta. So for the rest, you'll have to come and visit in person. And now let us know in the comments, what was your favorite part of the Reggia di Caserta? If you like the video, save it, share it, and don't forget to follow Live Virtual Guide on social media. Thank you for watching and ciao!